Hey you guys, so in today's video I'm going to be talking about how you guys can get this exact hair color that I have. Um, I know a lot of you guys liked it on Instagram, so I just wanted to tell you guys what I used in my hair. And um, just kind of my story on how I got here because I was doing my roots tonight before and it kind of got a little crazy. So it's going to be a story time slash how to get this hair. Um, everything that I'm going to talk about is going to be listed down below. Um, so first of all, you guys, you guys know that I do my hair. If you don't, I do my hair at home. I'm um, just with like a color from the store, like Walmart or wherever. And I've been using this one for like pretty religiously. And the one that I use is... The Ferrier um, Absolute Platinum Advanced Lightning System from L'Oreal Paris. I absolutely love it. It gives me like the perfect white blonde that I want with a little bit of gold in there. But after I do my roots sometimes, they it tends to be a little bit more brassy and I can't get rid of it. So I thought, oh, I'm just going to buy a toner. So I bought this toner at Sally's and I'm like... Oh, it says anti-yellow, anti-brass. That's going to be great. Um, and I just figured it would do just what the box looks like. Um, so anyways, this is the Blonde Brilliance Perfect Blonde Anti-Yellow Cream Toner Kit. So this basically, I just you apply it all over your hair and you let it sit for like, you know, 15 or 10 to 20 minutes or something like that. No longer than 20 minutes though. I was like, I'm just going to leave it on for 20 minutes because the longer the better. Well, I left it on for 20 minutes and these front pieces right here, like I would say like this right here was bright and this like over here, let's see here, like this right here was bright freaking purple. Like, well, not bright, but like a gray purple. And it was like just an ugly, it wasn't like Kelly Osborne or anything like that. It was just like an ugly gray purple. And my ends were like that as well, just the ends. Everywhere else was this like gray blonde, which is not what I wanted. I wanted it to be a white blonde, and it just didn't look good. So this product, um, not really happy with it because I just figured my hair was going to turn out like this, and that's what the girl at Sally's told me. So then after that happened, I was like, I'm not going to do anything else to my hair. I'm just going to let my friend, um, my friend did my hair. Clearly. And I was like, I'm just let my friend know, like, what happened, and she can fix it, and I'll just, like, pay her before she puts in the color. And, um, she was like, oh, it'll just wash out. You probably left it on too long. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I probably did. I left it on for 20 minutes. She was like, oh, yeah, probably too long. Well, I, like, washed it out. I washed out with dish, like, dish detergent that would, like, strip the hair and it would have come out. It finally came out and it was faded, but it was like still there. Um, you can't see it anymore because it is gone. But like, it would not come out. So then we just went to a Cosmoprov, picked up a different toner, which I don't know what that toner was called. It was something by Matrix. So if I find out what it is, that's not that's the only product that I don't have that she used on me. Um, I'll ask her what it was. But they also went through and, like, bleached and lightened spots because um, of the gray. So they, like, put it here so that it would lighten a little bit and things like that. And then they went over it with toner just to make it this, like, this is more of, like, a gray blonde. It's not a golden blonde at all. But I'm actually liking it with this hair color. Um, I think the next time, though, I would want it to be more of a blonde, like, golden blonde. So the next time I get my hair done... It's going back to the normal color probably. Um, so anyways, I've had my hair done like this for about a week, I would say. Maybe two. I can't really remember, but I would say it's probably been a week. And I used an entire tube of the Ferrier like, anti-brass conditioner on my hair just to help hydrate it back. And this worked wonders. Um, you guys know that I love this. If you don't, I love it. It's awesome. I use this like all the time. I just pulled through this color through the root area and a little bit lower in some spots and it's over here too. I don't think that this hairstyle looks great pulled up into a ponytail or anything like that. I like it more down just because um, 
it just looks kind of awkward with just like this orangey kind of hair. Well, it's kind of a peach actually. When I first got it done, it was super bright and this is actually faded since, which I really like it faded now. It just looks a little bit more, a little bit more natural even though it's totally not. And the color that they used was by Matrix and this is the Color Graphics Lacquer in um, Pastel Light Peach. So that's what that was. And this is just a ready-to-go color. You can go ahead and just throw it on. You don't have to mix it in with developer or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link the Matrix Color Graphics color. I'm going to find a Matrix diluter, like shade diluter. And I'm also going to link my favorite hair color down below, which is the L'Oreal Paris Ferrier Absolute Platinum Advanced Lightening System. This is going to be linked down below too. Those are all the things that I definitely recommend for you guys to use. That's pretty much how I got this color and kind of my hair trauma a little bit. Not too bad though. And yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Please, please, please tag me in any of your pictures if you do decide to go this way. Um, the technique is called shadow roots apparently so if you want to you can just google shadow roots and there are a ton of different colors There's if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a huge thumbs up also if you're going to try it let me know down below in the comments and i'll see you guys later bye